Brothers and sisters, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this. Last week, I did a quick video saying it was about time to set the calendar um, or something to that effect. Um, and we set the first, the beginning of months, not the beginning of the year. There's two different calendars, but the beginning of months um, for Nissan. Um, let me, by the barley, let me read you a scripture um, about this for the first month of beginning of months, and then I'll explain more what I mean. Um, we're going to go to Exodus 13, starting in verse 3. And Moses said to the people, remember this day in which you went out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. By, for by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out of this place. No leavened bread shall be eaten. On this day, you are going out in the month of Abib, a B I B a B and it shall be when the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jesu Jesuites, which he swore to your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread and on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Okay, understand that with the Feast of Unleavened Bread, it's connected right into Passover. Passover happens, as soon as Passover happens, it is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. They are connected. So this is when, in the month of B, today, we call it Nisan. Okay, now the calendars are messed up. Literally, that's a technical term, messed up. The, the calendar we use is pagan. It's based on the sun, sun worship. And even the Jewish calendar has been standardized. Okay. But the, now the thing is, we know in the calendar how to count months from the calendar. It's real simple. The Bible tells us. See, in that, that word Abib, the month of Abib, what I'm going to do is I'm in Blue Letter Bible on my phone. I click on that. I go to interlinearity, and it gives me a breakdown word by word. I can get definitions this way. Oh, the definitions are so important. Anyhow, the definition of Abib is fresh, young, barley ears. Barley. Month of ear forming, of greening of crop, of growing green Abib. Month of Exodus and Passover. Okay, so notice it doesn't say the barley is ripe. Okay, they need to have the barley ripe on the Feast of First Fruits, because that's when they are going to um, wave. They give the barley to the priest, and he waves the first fruits at the temple. We know that Christ was the first fruits of the resurrection of life. That's why he arose on the feast of first fruits. So the month, the, in order to start the month, the barley has to be almost ripe. I believe it was. I wish I could say, yes, it was a V, we are there. Okay, I follow Deborah's Date Tree. It's a Facebook group to, in order to see when, if the barley is a B. Okay, and it's also great for the new moons. That's what I use that Facebook group for. Now, their report, I wish it was definitive and said, yes, it is, or no, it's not. It didn't. They inspected 25 fields. Some of them were a beep, some were not. Based on looking at the report in the video, and I'm going to attach it for you, they ended up saying, I hope you appreciate the report so that you can make your decision on whether or not the barley was a beep. I believe it was. That means that the seventh month, which on Rosh Hashanah is the first day of the seventh month, and that's the only day the rapture can happen on, is will be in September. Now, the new moon, if I go to the lunar calendars and all of that, it says September 14th. But we know that two witnesses have to see the new moon. So it's sometime around September 14th. Two witnesses have to see the new moon. You don't know the day. Hmm. Nobody knows the day or the hour. That's what it's referring to. Anyhow, God bless you. Thank you.